Hey everybody, welcome to a more technical episode of Gamer Logic, and it's technical because we are going to try to solve a problem that many people trying to upload to YouTube have been having, and that is uh, constant errors when they upload their videos. Let's go with a little bit of background with my issue, and uh, I'm sure as I talk about it, it may sound more and more like yours. This is especially handy if you're a Comcast customer. I've been with Comcast for about six, seven years. And I've uh, never really had a problem with them. They've been fast. Uh, for online gaming, it's been awesome. And I admit it, I use BitTorrent. Um, I get movies and I get other various things with it. Um, you know, Comcast will disconnect every once in a while, and uh, not long enough that it would ever affect me until just recently. Uh, uploading more and more YouTube videos and being higher resolution than I was about six, seven months ago, um, my file sizes have increased dramatically. And... Uh, I was noticing uh, month by month it would keep getting worse. Anytime I would try to upload a video to YouTube, I would get a file error. And when I started investigating it more, I would upload a video to YouTube and my Comcast modem would actually disconnect. From what I can understand, I hear that Comcast is actually throttling users who do an excessive amount of uploading or downloading. The thing is, I'm using the uploading for legit purposes. I'm not using it for BitTorrent. So they don't really have their traffic link down. And this may be entirely incorrect. Maybe Comcast isn't throttling it. But reading all these other forums and posts about people uploading to YouTube and trying to upload other things, they're running into the same thing and they have never gotten an answer. Well, this left me to a situation where I was constantly trying to upload a 500, 600 meg video to YouTube and getting disconnected. And now that uh, the YouTube multiple file uploader is gone, I would again lose the file, so it was really annoying. I would try to upload something maybe eight, nine times without any success. So I decided to test a couple of things. I had a tech come out. They said that everything in the house was fine, but there may have been issues at the box. Well, having some uh, tools to test things out, I went open and cracked the box. The signal running from box to box is clean. So it's nothing on my end, and it's nothing on Comcast's end. What they're doing is actually throttling me, from what I can understand. So what I did was I got hold of a program that I did some research on, and it's free. It is uh, only usable by Firefox, and again, I'm sure there's other programs, but... Uh, it's uh, for Firefox, and the actual add-on is called Firefox Throttle. It's a bandwidth utilization throttling plugin for the browser that can actually limit what you download and what you upload at. So it, you can actually set a speed. So I'm going to give you a live demonstration here on screen about what I'm actually doing and how successful it's been. Um, I've uploaded maybe about 9, 10 videos and not, have not had a disconnect yet. So let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, guys, first off, you're going to want to use the Firefox browser. Um, I know tons of people are using it because it seems to be more stable than Internet Explorer, but there still are a lot of people out there who do not use it. Um, if you want to use this plugin and you want to use this tech tip, then you are going to have to use Firefox unless you find a different program. You can get Firefox at Mozilla.com and go ahead and download it and get it set up. Then your next tip is going to be going to uselessapplications.com and you can search for stuff or you could just google this too but what you're going to be googling is Firefox Throttle it's again it's a bandwidth utilization throttling plugin for Windows so you're going to go ahead and download that and when you download it your add-ons will be activated you can list them enable them through here and as you can see right now it is actually enabled and if you look here, you actually see that uh, I do have something uploading right now. And if we want to click this tab here, I'm actually uploading a YouTube video right now, currently at 23%, talking about uh, the items I picked up at this year's Anime Expo. So, there's a couple different ways you can get on to the options of this program. You can actually clip, click uh, add-ons here and go to options, or you can just right-click on this device here. So right click, left click on options here, and this will take you into Firefox Throttle. It'll start you out at this settings page here, and you'll notice a couple of different things that you can do. One is that you can actually throttle your download. You have different options from 56K to DSL 768 kilobytes. You can also set it to T1 or T3, I believe, or you can set a custom amount to go to whatever you want. After doing some testing, I noticed that the DSL cable 768 kilobytes a second 
was the one that was set for me. It didn't seem to time out my modem at all, so that's what I used to upload videos. T1 didn't work. Uh, I think that is the threshold uh, that uh, Comcast starts disconnecting at. So the 768 seems to be under. You can do a short burst if you prefer. Um, that just does it for inactivity reasons. And you can also do the check here to display the throttle panel in the status bar, which is that right here. Next thing I use, because I don't want to throttle everybody in the network and have my wife get angry at me, is I can actually specify IP addresses that should be throttled or that shouldn't be throttled. In this case, I have my IP address, my local IP address right here that I want to go ahead and throttle. Now, a couple of you may be asking, how do I get my IP address locally? What you can do is bring up your command prompt and type ipconfig slash all and hit enter and it'll give you an IP address. Since I don't feel like getting hacked, I'm not going to give you the rest of my information, so I'm just going to X that off there. But you'll hit enter and you're going to look for an IP address. It'll say preferred usually. You'll want to punch that in and then just uh, check around. You can specify websites that should or shouldn't be throttled and you can even look at stats too. So pretty interesting. After you're done with that, you're going to hit OK. Go ahead and go into YouTube, select the video you want to upload, put in your details, and let it sit away. Now I will admit that doing it at this level of uploading does take it quite a long time. I mean not super long, it maybe takes about 45 minutes for it to upload, but I'd rather have it upload slowly and work than have to put up with the constant disconnects and frustration of having to re-upload the thing and praying to God that it actually works. So. This is just one way you can do it. Control your bandwidth and, thr uh, and throttling and you'll be good to go. Hopefully this helps some people out that are having some issues uploading to YouTube. Again, I don't know for sure if it's Comcast throttling or something with YouTube, but it seems to do it during torrents and it seems to do it with YouTube. And that is always a high amount of bandwidth being utilized. So, I think that's the case. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Take it easy.